10 or 12 steps. We don't want 20, 25 steps. We don't want two or three. Something in between reasonable makes sense. So for each step, we're going to have essentially a panel of brown paper. And as you look at this video that we did in, in Madrid, you'll see at the top of each of these panels is a, the name of the step. So essentially, that's a normal sheet of paper. You know, an A4 size sheet of paper. Doesn't have to be A4, obviously. But if you think about this, it's an A4 size sheet of paper. And then we need enough brown paper around that so that people are able to place their ideas on those idea cards. So we want essentially an A4 piece of paper as the step title, and we want a brown piece of paper that's probably something at least five feet long, um, can be longer. Again, not a particular rule. One question, why do we use brown paper? Why not flip chart paper? You could use flip chart paper, the regular standard white paper. We want to use brown paper for two reasons. One, it's different. We want to send the message that this process is different than others. This is not just your regular, everyday, give me your ideas type of process. We want to send that message that it's different. Secondly, we like the, Nate, the, the message that brown paper sends is that it sounds and it looks like construction paper. It looks like a building site. We want the brown paper to look and feel like a building site because employees and customers who participate in this process are essentially building the experience that British Council should be delivering. Another important question that pops up is how long does it take for each participant uh, in the process, in the assessment? How, long, how much of their time does this require? Typically, the shortest time would probably be something about 20 minutes to participate in the, in the brown paper. Um, I would say on average we're probably looking at something more like 45 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes is a typical amount of time to run through the entire exercise for the participants. For customers who may come through, if, we do ex if you do exactly what we did at uh, the Madrid Center, so they're recruited, you know, basically someone has gone out, again an on-site person, uh, would you mind participating in this, uh, in this survey with us? They take a quick survey. That survey probably lasts seven minutes of their time, or takes seven minutes of their time. Um, and then, do you mind helping us out, having a look at this, at this exercise, the brown paper exercise? Um, and again, for most customers, that's going to be quite short, something along the lines of 15 to 20 minutes. So for customers, uh, it may be something around 30 minutes. For employees, it's probably closer to 30 to 45 minutes of actual time to run through the exercise. That varies quite obviously, and it's not a problem if they have less time. If they have less time, they just participate in what they can, and uh, then they, they are, they're off and running. So we've talked about this recruitment concept. How do we recruit employees? How do we recruit customers? Let's start off with the easy one. How do we recruit, recruit customers? Essentially, your on-site expert will probably be around uh, as customers are going through whatever experience you're looking at and asking them, do you have a few moments to help us out on this assessment? Uh, whatever local name you might want to give it. Um, that just requires a quick elevator pitch to customers and it's a, it's a very quick thing. Either they will have the time and, and have no trouble participating or they'll just say no. Um, so that person is doing this throughout the day. So that's quite simple and that's how you know that what you're doing uh, there. If you happen to have a, a, a sign posting or a sign board uh, at your site, you may collect one or two customers if you put that up as an exercise at the site. Typically, we find that doesn't work. This is literally, if you're going to do it in an ad hoc fashion or with customers, no incentive, in, incentives provided to them, uh, then essentially that person will, uh, the on-site expert will be going out just asking people uh, man on the street style, uh, do you mind participating in the study? For employees, as we've already said, the two basic styles of forgetting disengagement. If you do the ad hoc on the day style, again, that's just you happen to be, you're lucky enough to place the brown paper in a high traffic area and you can capture people's attention as they're going by and as, again, as they ask the magic question, what is this about? You can get them to, to participate. 
if that's not the style that you can employ at that particular site, then what you'll be doing is essentially beforehand with your on-site, your nominated on-site expert, what you'll be doing is basically drawing up a schedule and, and getting people assigned to that schedule to show up uh, to the brown paper. And again, you're looking for all people at the site. So one of the things that your role will be to look at uh, the employees at that site and think about, have we missed people? For example, at the Madrid Center, there was someone who worked in their cafeteria, and we wanted to make sure that we had that person participate in the brown paper, even though that's not necessarily the first person you're thinking about when you're thinking about the British Council. We wanted to make sure we got the security guards participating as well. So we want to make sure that we get the representation from all levels and all the functions of the council to participate. That may require a bit of uh, pre-planning, but if you use your on-site person, you'll get a view of what those functions are, uh, what the people are, and then come up with a plan. Can they come mixed together? Does it have to be one department comes together? This is completely irrelevant. As long as they have the time to come, you can have the janitor show up with the, the director, you can have the cook show up with the teacher, and so forth. The mix of people is not an issue at all. We've talked about getting customers involved. You may have the opportunity to provide incentives. This is not a necessity. If you have your on-site person recruiting those customers, they usually do this because they're interested and because they want to help the British Council. Uh, as they do so, you may, if possible, want to have some refreshments. This is not always a necessity, but of course it's a nice gesture to have those things. So if you had, for example, free tea, coffee for them, uh, drinks, water, that sort of thing, would work very well. Again, in our view, it's not a necessity, but it is a very nice gesture, especially one given that what you're talking about is the experience British Council is offering. So now if we talk about the assessment period itself, what happens over that period? Um, as we said, this could be two or three days. Day one, you're going to set up the brown paper. You've already decided on the site. You have already have the essential paper, the steps of the, the brown paper ready to go. So what you need to do is set up the brown paper. This is nothing more than essentially taping that brown paper to the wall. Um, it is placing your pins, your glue stick um, at the ready. You have your clipboards ready. You already have your printout of the uh, questionnaires and you have a variety of idea cards ready for employees and staff to use. That is set up. When people come into the room, so if you've done the scheduling of employees, they're showing up at whatever intervals and times that you've set, they're coming into the room. What happens? You, the practitioner, uh, introduces yourself, gives them the pitch for the brown paper, which is essentially we're here to help improve the customer experience. This is the particular experience we're looking at. These are the steps. You run them through the steps, step by step. You're asking them, we're looking for your ideas on how to improve things. We're looking at what we do well, what we, not do, what we do not so well. These are the idea cards. Here's a pen. And then we run through some examples or some exercises. The first exercise, we can call this a kind of red dot, green dot exercise. You give that person uh, a red pen and a green pen, and you simply ask them to have a quick read of the ideas that are already on the brown paper.